Hey there guys, Orpheus Joshua here, and welcome back to some more of Let's Play E7. On the previous part, we made our way to, um, through the water sink, through the water sanctum, which thankfully it ended up being a lot simpler and just a lot less hectic than I um, recall it being when I was younger. And now we are at the scene of the dragon, so this is gonna be pretty interesting. This fight, this dragon fight, is the one that I most definitely remember being one of the most annoying fights. But then again, you know, like considering how I kind of breeze through that last sanctum for the most part, you know, I could be wrong. This fight m might be just the same old, you know, attack and dodge <laughs> scenario that we've had. But this fight does have an additional mechanic of sorts that, um, is that is unique to it. Ooh, distant warrior. Oh, humble warrior. Yeah, that's my voice right now. Thou has come. Are you old Balin? That's what the name. The Sea Dragon. How did we stop the wind of destruction for the fourth time? Wind of destruction, right of demise. All is necessary. Oh shit! Here we go. What? Destruction is inevitable. All will toggle demand at the end. The right of demise. The head of Iska shall per perform. All is fate. A world of imbalance can exist no longer. <laughs> this voice is so bad. The land must return to ashes. But why? Yeah, why? Ah, oh, shit, here we go. <laughs> but if you don't have the, ta the talisman, you know, at this point somehow, if you like, broke the game somehow and you don't have the, the, the talisman, then you are fucked! <laughs> Thou wishes to halt the wind, humble warrior. Prove thou art able. Thy soul, thy body. Thou shalt have my power only when I have confirmed thy resolve. All right. Well, here we go. So this boss fight is certainly one of the most annoying in terms of how it works. So basically, as you can see, he has a bunch of scales on his um, body that we, that we have to attack first. And that, does, and that does deal damage to him, but what makes this fight annoying, at least to me, is just how he moves through these holes in the wall here, like through this gum, like through that gum cavern. And it just... And, as, and, and like, it's sort of similar, I guess, to the previous fight, but this is to a far greater, to a far greater extent. Just, just the sense that, um... He's, he has lower defense, I believe, than some of the other dragons, as, as, especially the first two. But is constant, but he's constantly like unable to be attacked, which which just makes him just annoying to target most of the time as well. But as you can see, we are making quite a good headway into this guy already. I'll put bait him there. Draw him. Draw him closer, oh boy. Ah. 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 Okay, well. Oh, nah. Okay. Is that it? Oh my god, stop it. Huh, do I go? I, yeah, because I can't go through. Oh, wait, what? I can? What the fuck? I never remember this. Okay. So apparently I can go through these bottom two holes here. I do not remember that at all. That's pretty cool. At least when he stuck doing that freaking laser shit, you can just go around him. Let's just do this to get some of these things down. You are just a blade! Alright, nice. Yeah. Alright, nice. Yeah, I think I'm gonna save up my SP for the, for, um, for, Pent for Pentagram, because that skill, as you, as we saw, 
earlier in, in the Sanctum. Rather overpowered, so we can't go to different from him. That sucks. Did you try? Oh, she's got through. Oh, we just go behind him. Okay, well, that works. Yeah, well, I think we'll just take the damage turn to try to go through this. Ooh, let's go! Ooh, fuck me, this bullshit cart here. There we go, come on. And right, there we go. So yeah, we're making pretty good headway here, I must say. Though I can't actually recall if this is the, like, the only part of the fight. There must be a second phase, right? Like, I doubt that I'm gonna, like, just win this in, like, five seconds. There's, there's, there's no fucking way. Okay, let's get more parts here, though. That's great. I'll just heal up here. Be safe. And I, I like how I haven't been saving it for, um, Pentagram. <laughs> Even though I, I said, uh, that I would. Okay, go for it! Ooh. Okay, so yeah, so now he has one health. And if we thought the fight was done, then hey, that's pretty funny because you know that was way too quick. Oh boy, I'm getting some freaking PTSD flashbacks now. Oh boy. Oh boy, so here's where I guess the real fight of sorts comes into play here. The Steel Hooks and the Gratios Talisman are vital for this fight in, in particular. Oh, fuck. Because there is the ice here, and you know, the ice is the fish to just deal with in, in general. So, you know, you should probably equip that. I mean, in theory, he could probably get through the fight without equipping the, um, the hooks. But, you, you know, you probably should, just to make your life a bit more simpler. Yeah, this is some, like, freaking like, 5 x x x shit. That freaking like, jump scare shit. But, um... Yeah, so, as you can see, like, we aren't doing, like, terrible damage to him. It's just taking a little while here, just in, in, the, in the long run. Oh boy. What the fuck? Is okay, that's weird. Oh, that was like a. I got wrecked there. Holy shit, you guys saw that? But yeah, this boss, probably because, you know, considering where we are in the story and just weird this fight is just placed in comparison to the previous three fights um, against the like, against the dragons. This battle is, you know, a bit more important, I guess you could say. Well, not important, but just like, it tests more of, of your skills than the other one, um, the other three have. But so far, um, wait, what the fuck is that? Oh, I guess he just oh, I guess that's weird, but um Oh I don't know what the hell this is. Okay, so he just I guess he's like birthing new Man, I think that's pretty fucking weird, but okay. Where is he? Oh there oh fuck me. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so yeah, whatever he brings his um his head back to this position, he brings the, the water down. But that's like the prime time to equip the ice hooks. That's a, that's a really strange fact on his whiskers there, as like whips. Pretty fucking weird thing to say, oh, in general. Oh my god, my ass is kinda like demolished there, holy fuck. Like this! Launch us the blade! Alright, nice job there, I must say. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I am being pretty careless in this fight. But you know, 
we do have the healing to back us up here, you know, if need be, like, right now. You know, it's, like, it, it, it could be a lot worse, and we are nearing the end here, you know, slowly but surely. Yeah, I feel like we're doing quite a bit of damage on this guy. And hey, like, I think that this, this might be one of, of the shortest dragon fights as well, because we are just about done here. And I sincerely doubt that there's, there's a third phase. Yeah, don't go back inside, you're done! No! Ooh. Fuck me, really? Oh my god, ow. There we go, alright, nice. So, once again, I guess I... What the fuck? Camera, what the hell? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Uh, but once again, I suppose I just overcame my past tragedies. Desiccated. This is my achievement. Interesting. Very well. I grant thee my assistance. Thou shalt have my power. Alright. Make it mad dramatic. Here's our fourth of five dragon stones. Oh, des oh, descendants of those before me, I grant thee my protection. Oh boy. Yep, Aisha was given a new extra skill after destruction. I've only been using at all, uh, and, I, and, I, and I apologize for that. But I'm just like, I get so like, um, I'm, I'm so just like used to just doing his skills now, you know? Oh, warrior. Oh, powerless descendant of humans. Suck my penis. Thou must visit my brother and acquire thy last power forthwith. Yeah, and where the fuck is this last dragon? The only what has taken place which must once occur. Lo, the grand demise is nigh. I think I think that was the best voice to give that guy. He seemed like he didn't give a shit, so yeah. I gave him the fucking Snorlax voice. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty fucking weird. I mean, that's like our only option, right? <laughs> He's the only guy that could, you know, probably know what the fuck is going on with that. Well, here's freaking Rod, you know, our best friend. Oh, there's, oh, there's, there's Maya. Oh shit. Oh, my boy Ra's gonna redeem himself. Oh boy. Huh, well, I mean, why? How come Ra is ineffective? Well, I mean, I guess it's not, you know, like a. I guess not, you know, it's like an, an immune system thing. Like, not everyone, you know, is able to endure as, as long as some. Others are, but yeah, now that we're done with that, um, let's go back to Altago. And, um, we should probably go meet with Sirius now. I'm gonna just restock on my items fairly quickly here. And also, do and also see if, if I can make anything new here. Let's see, uh. Oh, new bow. Yeah, but put that for Aisha. An axe. Yeah, why not make that for Gius there? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. <laughs> Never mind, I shouldn't have made that for Gius. 
Because he has so much shit here. Okay, wait. Okay, there we go. Damn, there's some really strong crap here for some of these guys. Yeah, we do have, you know, a pretty fair share of... materials, so we should probably just make stuff, you know? Especially since, um, a lot of these, um... Especially since, like, in the final dungeon, as I said, um... Every single character is going to matter in the final fight, so we should probably, you know, give them... Give everyone, you know, the best equipment that they can have. I think that's fine for now, right? Yeah, okay. Well, I can make one of those, I guess. Uh, I'll make one of those. Alright, yeah. So I'll buy some extracts here. Okay, I think, I think that's fine for now. And I'll take one quick look at the weapon shop here. And see if there's anything else I can buy. I don't think so. Oh wait, there's a thing for Crucier. Let's put that armor for her. Harvest clothes, we'll get that to Mishara and to Elk. Uh, yep, that's, yeah, okay, cool. So now we're all up to date on our equip- well for, the, well, for the most part, we're up to date on our equipment and our- you know, just our stuff in general. So now let's see if C. Arias is here. See what the hell you know he and see if he and see, and see if he's learned anything concerning the moon dragon's whereabouts. Oh look, it's the execution! It's the execution of the fucking girl that just the the fucking lady that just whipped at all back during the during the whole um the whole murder thing. Yeah, they're pretty fucking cryptic. Ah, oh, boy. Ah, oh, shit. Each time the fairies show up, you you know that some shit went down. A pillar, huh? Oh, okay. So let's make use of our conveniency here and just warp towards the village. God, this song still makes me feel so nostalgic. Yeah, there's a, a light here, which... It's not that crystal thing, it's this thing. like how my dick looks when it's erect. It's pretty damn beautiful, right? Yeah. Alright, well that makes sense, I guess. Can you feel it at all? The power? Oh yeah, that's a thing too, right? Hmm, so apparently we need a, a clue to, to be able to, you know, because we need the incantation to open up the path to the, to the sanctum and we have to look to places that are related to Tia and the first place that comes to mind is you know her and Maya's house so let's see what's going on here oh Tia's hairpin
It does probably a lie there, doggy. But this might be the clue we need somehow, some way to open up the path there. So let's go check in back with Sirius. Actually, wait a second here. Do we just present this here? Oh, hey, look, our event craft is gone. Um, is so I'm full, I mean. <laughs> We're really at the end game, guys. We're getting there. Oh, jeez. Okay. Hmm, well, she pulled the whole thing about her mom. I mean, it probably was a complete lie then. Dragon Quest? Oh man, I'm really hyped for Dragon Quest Eleven. Yeah, I think we're fully prepared though, for the most part, you know? So let's just head on straight in here. The moon saints and oh boy, this place looks cool. Warrior, I welcome thee. Oh boy. So there's straight up no dungeon, we're going straight to a boss fight here. Moon Dragon, Z Kaleo, Sawboy. Indeed, I am Z Kalios, the Moon Dragon. This guy deserves my normal voice. I govern the balance of Ultago. So actually, I think I might have given the first dragon or two my, no my normal voice, but whatever. Long hath been the interlude warrior, and since we last met at the makeshift altar. But that too is but a moment in the lives of those who have existed since the dawn of creation. Precious few have stood before me. I welcome thy arrival. Warrior and thy com and thy com, com and thy companions, all who have come hither shared the same concerns. The omen of destruction, the conduct of the Iskon Elder and the true nature of Ultago. Dragon warrior, my duty is to impart the truth unto thee. When all is in place, thou shalt surely understand. Only then shalt thou comprehend the destructive fail Tago doth face. Once the truth is laid before thee, it will become a thing unable to be ignored or forgotten. The choice before thee is a difficult one. Wilt thou accept my trial? Dost thou wish to know the answers? So it is decided, then show that thou art able, thy soul, thy body, thou shalt have my power only when I acknowledge thee. So we have a second boss fight this video, huh? Oh boy. So here is the moon dragon. Now this guy, um, so I guess I forgot all about like, just this 
fight in general because there is no dungeon preceding it. Now this fight, um, I actually don't remember shit from it, so yeah, this feels completely new to me actually. They're doing pretty good damage on this guy though, holy shit. He's doing some like weird like bleach flash step though, what the fuck, the fuck is oh boy that's weird. He's apparently a, a fucking sick support too. But yeah, I feel like just yeah, I feel like just if you're up to date on your on your equipment, then this fight shouldn't be too much of a problem. We're doing we're doing pretty well, right? So to be fair, I am already kind of low on health. Oh fuck! The power of light. Oh boy, it's not good. I have to dash at the right time here. Yeah, he's very, very quick compared to the previous dragons. Yeah, just heal up there. I'd rather not resort to, to, to the um, extracts if I can't help it. Oh, well, he's just gonna do a rush then, huh? Yep, well, nope, is this thing? What the fuck? Okay, don't do that, please. Okay. He's doing it like a real number on me, damn. Oh boy. Back up. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Every time he fucking flashes, I'm like, oh boy, we're fucked. Uh, at all. Pentagram! Oh boy. We're apparently now in Tales of Berseria. Oh shit. It's all red. Boy, he's becoming a heartless. Oh god, all the crossovers are coming through. He's a heartless. Oh boy. This is some real, like, god of war. What the fuck is this Kingdom Hearts shit? Oh boy, that's not good. Thy soul, thy body. Do, 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 do. Oh boy, fuck me. Okay, okay, okay. This is pretty fucking scary, to be honest with you. But his tail is vulnerable right now, so let's go for that. Thankfully, a lot of his attacks seem to be frontward based, so that's good. I'm gonna s stick to saving my SP for Pentagram, because we all know how OP that attack is, so you know. And we are nearing the use of our extra skill again, which is nice. Time up! Yeah, this fight is really... This is a really cool fight, though, like... It is pretty worthy of being the final dragon. Well, we're nearing... Pentagram, which is nice. There we go, okay, let's try to... Just... Bait him there, alright, there we go. Like this! That was pretty nice, alright. Oh, we fucked up the fucking extra law boy. Oh, we still got the last wave of the attack there, which is nice. I feel like that first phase is, is just a lot more um, dangerous, because this, this phase, I mean, it might be stronger, but it seems to be a lot slower and easier to dodge. Oh, there we go. Goes to the front side there. And that lasts for like 5 seconds, holy shit, that like, does not last long at all. Ooh, back up! Okay, that was pretty careless of me, I must say. Now he's fucking on his front, he's doing some real shit there. His tail is no longer a, a, a fucking weak spot, that's not good. I'm guessing that um his stun gauge there is preset at a point to cause this third base to, to spawn up. But hey, we're nearing the end here, so let's just not become too 
overzealous here. Yeah, that cool one kind of gave me um gave it away there. At all. I don't Shit, I, I wasn't quick enough to dodge to dodge that one. SP does seem to be like a sort of Oh okay, that was almost terrible. Damn, yeah, he's really, like, going all out now, holy crap. Though he is on his last leg, oh, what the fuck is he doing? Oh, that's not bad. That's not good, eh? It's not bad, you know, it's alright. Yeah, I, he, I am managing to avoid a lot of these attacks, which is nice. with Aisha for a bit here because she has more health because she's not completely low in health like at all and I do want to avoid using as, as many items as I can here. In fact Aisha might be actually the like the archers are not that bad here because they do stay a good deal away and they give you a pretty good window of time to dodge properly from these attacks. Um hello? Game? What happened there? Yeah, there is there are some notable issues here in in, um, in this part of the game, which is weird. Let's just do a quick kill here. Take this pentagram! Oh. <laughs> Yo, pentagram just wrecked his ass. Oh my god, that kill is so overpowered. Thou has done well. In thy hand are the five powers required to stop the end. How thou wouldst, wouldst use those powers is for thee and thine to decide. Yeah, you know, that is a pretty good question. The dragon's like, oh, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Before I explain, thou must understand the reason why Altago is, is destined to face his demise. The fated end of Altago it is the world's desire. Indeed, a world without balance becomes strained. All life in Altago, large and small, will come to suffer. Thus, the land must be destroyed to end suffering. However, the demise brought about by the wind of destruction is not without purpose. It is true that the wind shall bring all life in Altago to an end, but their souls shall return to their origin, along with everything else in Altago. When the lost souls regain a measure of peace, a new world shall be formed from the, from the root, the origin of life. Altago is a land which hath repeated the cycle of death and rebirth to satisfy the root of all existence. Hmm. Sounds pretty fucking depressing. When Altago loses its balance, it must be destroyed. Therefore, the head of Iska will bring about the wind of destruction. All for the purpose of returning life to its origin and rebuilding a world of balance and order. The right of demise. Tis the final duty of Iska. Yeah, that's why Tia. Yeah, it's pretty weird that, you know, this is all fate to happen, you know, we're still chosen. The Dragon Warrior is the representative of all life in Altago. He is the hope of the Altagians who suffer in this world of imbalance. The destruction of Altago cannot be brought about without, without acknowledgement of the life that inhabits it. Thus, the dragon warrior is chosen as a proxy for all life in Altago. A proxy? That's pretty fucking... <laughs> what the hell? He's a proxy? Equip equipped with the powers of my brethren, 
thou shalt fight the maiden of, the, of demise. However, thy strength shall be no match, such has been the truth since the beginning of time. The moment thou art defeated, hope for life will be lost, and the right shall conclude. Then the cycle will begin. Wow. <laughs> Destined warrior, now thou knowest the truth. Allow me to, ap to apologize for placing upon thy shoulders such a heavy burden. Look within thyself and decide what thou wishes to do. Yeah, so basically, you know, I accept thy testimony. I grant thee my power. And now with Adol being the being the being the representative. There we, go, there we got the Moon Dragon Stone, the final one of them all. Yeah, and now, be, and now, just like um the other re representatives, Adol himself has gained a new extra skill, so that's pretty cool. I think this is a, his third one, which is pretty damn great. Adol, yep. Well, we learned quite a bit of shit there, Sirius, to say the least. Wow. Damn, Gius is pretty fucked up. For just form for just formality's sake, I guess, right? Yeah, I, oh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, pretty good com, um, com, comparison there, from I from Aisha. Yeah, because you know, Adol did fucking go through the slim chances there. The best girl boy, waifu Aisha, for giving us the inspiration. Yeah, I mean, there's no turning back at this point, right? Right? Yeah, boy, the full party, except for except for Sagroon because Aisha's back. So yeah, fuck, fuck her, I guess. God damn it! Oh boy, that's not good. What the hell? The world's shaking. Well of Souls! Oh, that's some, like, serious, like... Fucking, like, um... That's some, that's some, like, real, like, Final Fantasy Square, like, Square Enix shit. Oh boy, that's pretty fucking badass looking, though. Yep, governs the cycle of death and rebirth in Altago. Oh, that's, you know, pretty damn... That sounds like a nice place. Yup, Sky, S, and Tia are in there. Here we go, yup. It's time for the final battle, oh boy. And 
some badass songs playing here. Alright. So with that, the final dungeon has opened up, and um, next time on E7, we will be exploring this area in order to reach its end. And fight Skyus and Tia Luna, so that's gonna be quite a, quite a fight. The Well of Souls. It's a pretty cool looking final area. But well guys, this is gonna do it for this episode of E7. We fought the last two dragons, we fought the last two orbs, and now we are thrust into the final area. So Next time, guys, we are going to start our final road down. So see you guys later. Have a, have a fantastic day, and goodbye.